Boy, don't you know you ain't never gonna mount to anything hanging around these dance halls? Oh, I, I like it around here. I think it's luxurious around here. Look at that lady with that pretty red hat. Ain't she pretty? Huh? I certainly would appreciate it if I could enjoy myself like that. Oh, boy, you don't appreciate anything. Oh, I appreciate it. It's appreciatable. Well, how about that job I got you last week? Oh, that wasn't no good job, was it? Mm -hmm. Well, certainly, that was the best kind of job. All you had to do was stick your head through that little hole in the canvas, and when the man threw the eggs at you, all you had to do was duck. Yeah, duck eggs. Boy, I, I don't want to hear no more about that job. That left-handed man was brutal. Well, how do you mean? Oh, you knew that man rung in a billiard ball on me. You knew, though. Well, you don't mean to tell me the man rung in a billiard ball on you. Yeah, that ain't all. Believe me, he had some English on that ball. Well, when you saw the ball coming, why didn't you duck? Oh, I did duck. Oh, you did duck? Yeah, but it seemed like I paused too long. Well, when the billiard ball hit you on the head, did it hurt? Oh, how could a billiard ball hurt you ahead? No, it just seemed like a dream, that's about all. But I didn't like that job. I'd rather train lions than like that. Well, you know, to be a lion trainer, you got to be very quick. Well, I'm quick. Well, how quick? Oh, I'm so quick. When I go to bed at night, I turn out the light 20 feet from the bed, and I'm in bed before the room is dark. Boy, when are you going to stop lying? No, that's a fact that all you got to do to train lions, you just throw salt on his tail, and then you got him or else. Else what? Else you in the awful fix. No, the first thing you do, you get up early in the morning, you go down to the lion's cage and get a great big piece of raw meat. You throw the raw meat into the lion's cage. Uh-oh. And then all you do, you open the door, jump inside the cage, and take the raw meat away from the lion. Oh, behave yourself. Boy, you you got lions running and mixed up with suicide. And then all you do, you look the lion right straight in the eye and make him believe you're not afraid of it. I, I couldn't be so deceitful. I couldn't do that. All, all I'd rather do like Daniel did in Lion's Den. That's the way I like to train them. Well, I hope you don't believe all you heard about Daniel in the Lion's Den, do you? Well, I, I don't believe he swallowed the whale. I don't believe that. But I believe Daniel was in the Lion's Den and the wild lion never touched Daniel. Yeah, they were no wild, ferocious mountain lions. They were old circus lions. Oh, man, this happened way back in B.C. Be what? B.C. before circuses. No, I, I won't have time to meet you down to pick them. I'll meet you down to post office at seven o'clock. Yeah, if I get there first, I'll make a blue line. If you get there first, you rub it out. Boy, what's your idea arguing that man about being a man in the moon? Well, I, I believe there is a man in the moon. I believe that. Well, you told that man you spoke to the man in the moon. Yeah, but I didn't say he answered me. I wouldn't do that. Well, did you ever see the man in the moon? No, I never saw him. You ever see anybody ever did see the man in the moon? Well, maybe I don't believe I did, though. Would you ever see anybody ever saw anybody said they saw anybody said they saw the man in the moon? No, I'd rather not be bothered with that. But I, I dreamed there was a man in the moon, and I believe in dreams. Do you? Nobody believes in dreams. Oh, I believe in them. Well, I don't. I still do. I never did until one night I dreamed I was eating flannel cakes and when I woke up the blanket was gone. And I had another dream. I dreamed I was awake and when I woke up I was asleep. Well, I bet that argument you had of that dog catcher was no dream. Oh, I wasn't arguing with that dog catcher. He, he won't put me in his wagon, he did. Oh, he didn't want to put you in the wagon. He wanted to put your dog in the wagon. No, he had him. Well, what kind of a dog was it? A Newfoundland? Oh, no, 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 no. A shepherd? Oh, no, no. An Airedale? 
Uh, he believes he is, but he's not. Well, is he a fox terrier? Oh, no, no. Great Dane? No, you're only wasting time. Because even if you guess what he is, I wouldn't know. Well, I know what he is. He's a Pekingese. Yes, I guess he is, but I really don't know what he is. Well, what would you say its parents were? Uh, careless. He, uh, he's a tall dog like that. He's tall. Well, what do you feed the dog? Meat? No, he, he won't eat meat. That's funny. I never heard of a dog wouldn't eat meat. Oh, yes, you have. You heard of him. He wouldn't eat it. Well, why not? Well, he had a reason for it. What reason? Uh, we didn't give him any. But he had bad luck. He was crossing the railroad track, and a train came before he got by. And train cutting his tail off. Train cut the dog's tail off? Yeah, what well, do you know about that, huh? Oh, boy, that's bad. When a dog gets his tail cut off, he's got nothing to guide him or nothing to balance him. True, brother, true. Certainly must have hurt his carriage. Oh, behave yourself. He, he got his tail cut off. That's what I say. It must have hurt his carriage. No, it didn't hurt his carriage, but it ruined his wagon. Oh.